morning guys welcome back to a new um weekly i'm starting the week with a workout i literally just woke up hence the throat still not over the royal wedding i was up last night researching it all night i feel like it was there i'm um, wearing this gym kit you can't even see it i'm just about to head to david lloyd to do a workout with lois my personal trainer these are my new leggings <gasps> aren't they so nice i was given them by la roche posay to launch a new sun cream and i love them so much so let's kick the week off and come work out with me Oh my god, I did it. I am literally dripping in sweat. Look at my hair. I'm going to Sassy and today to get a blow dry, thank the lord, because pff, I'm not feeling my best. My abs are on fire. I only showed you guys the ab circuit because the gym was so busy today. They had loads of different classes on, and it's kind of rude to film all the people in the gym. So I was on the rower, and I was on the bike, and I was trying to film it, but then you get someone else in the background, and it's not really considerate to get someone else in. So I'll try and film some more workouts next time. Oh my god, honestly, it hurts to talk. My abs, we're done. So I'm going to go home now and have some food. And then I've ordered loads of clothes. I'm going to do a little haul for you guys. ASOS had 20% off, so I'm going to do an ASOS haul. Yes! A new in haul. Mmm, we've got some banana bread with chocolate chips and figs for added fibre. I'm sat eating my banana bread, wondering why it doesn't taste like banana bread. And bless my mum, my mum made it and she forgot to put the main ingredient in oats. So it was basically just banana with figs with almond milk, which tasted really good. But there wasn't any like carb in it, which is probably why I was like, this is a bit gloopy. Cheers, seeds and apple in it as well. It did have cheers, seeds and apple in it, as my mum says. So it's basically like an, an apple and banana stew. It was good, but I need some carbs. So I'm just having a cup of green tea. I'm going to quickly do some emails. Then I'm going to go and shower. I like to get on top of my emails before I shower because then otherwise I've got too much to come back to. Also going to have one of the Mocha Vita Cocos. This is one of my favourite Vita Cocos because it's got espresso and coconut water and milk in it. And it literally tastes so good, um, particularly post-workout because it brings back the electrolytes in your body. And I feel like my body is depleted of energy right now and I need some hydration so yeah I'm gonna do some work and then I'm hoping that this ASOS parcel arrives because I want to show you what's what I've ordered Guys, I meant to do doing work, but you need to watch this. People wonder why I absolutely hate um, footballs. Yeah, that literally hits her face. Watch. Oh my god, can you see that? That's ridiculous. Yeah, when you've got work to do, it said you sit on Facebook. It's so bad. Right, I'm gonna go shower now. So I lied, I had no time to get ready after doing my emails because they took me very long. So I'm just gonna quickly go and get my hair done. I'm just on my way to the city centre now to go to Sassoon. I'm seeing Connor for a blow dry because I'm shooting some exciting stuff tomorrow. So I need to get my hair prepped for it. Also need a treatment because it's feeling a bit dry. And then I'm gonna show you the try and halt when I get home. At least I'll have nice hair for it.
I'm back. I definitely need to sort my face out, but I'm going to quickly show you some of the new stuff that has come. So first things first, I got this jumpsuit, which is actually really nice. The back of it, I obviously have a bra on. Ignore the bra. But yeah, it's just like a yellow jumpsuit, which obviously needs ironing. Everything I mentioned will be linked below. But yeah, what do we think, guys? Shock M ordered something with polka dots on. I feel like this is very, very, very short. Um, but it's actually cute with like the polka dots. One thing I want to say is every time I try on clothes recently, I get someone in the comments who doesn't usually comment commenting on my size, and I'm like, guys, just chill. Like, it's obviously not you guys watching now because you guys are nice. But, um, for example, the other day someone commented about my trousers saying that I needed to size up. Does not matter what size someone is, and I'm just going to stop saying what size I ordered stuff in because I sat ordered these trousers a size up anyway. I wish I had them so I could show you. I'll show you this week in London. The stupid thing is, the trousers are way too big for me. Like, I felt like sending this person a video back of me sat to show how baggy and oversized these trousers are, and it's like, do you want me to sit in a bin bag? Like, I don't know, because if I want to wear skin tight trousers and get my legs out, I will. But yeah, it's just, I keep getting this influx of comments from people who seem to be obsessed with like my body size and the size I order my clothes in. I get it on every single Zara haul with people telling me to get bigger sizes and I'm like, go away. I am old and wise enough to know my size. And if it doesn't fit, I will be the one, like I know if something doesn't fit me because I'm the one stood in it and I can feel it. I also got with this dress recently and I put the dress on my Instagram and then you can obviously see that the dress is a bit too big for me if anything and someone still managed to comment on my YouTube video being like yeah you need to get a bigger size in it I don't know what people's problem is even if I should get a bigger size like it's just a bit weird why are people so obsessed with size anyway wanted to get that off my chest so just it's just a bit weird but yeah I'm sure someone will comment and tell me to get a bigger size in this um it's weird because I'm actually only like five foot two and this is quite short on me but at least it's baggy oh this is cute nice little midi kind of dress how cute is that with like the I don't know it's just easy to wear see like there's loads and loads of room in this literally look at that guys this is the smallest size I did and look like that is my this is my stomach and like there is so much room in this is ridiculous. Sorry, but someone will still comment and tell me that it's too small. I'm like, Janice, just sit down, enjoy the video, or go away. So for those of you that are nice, I actually really like this dress. It's just too big for me, dare I say it. It's too big for me. Um, if it was like this, sucked in. Now that would be very nice. We love a sucked in dress, don't we? See, this is literally how I would like it to be. And this is the bag. But yeah, what a shame, because that's such a lovely dress. Maybe I'll just have to, like, pin it. <laughs> then I got this little jumpsuit, which isn't meant to be worn with a bra, and I'm wearing with a bra. It's actually really cute for summer, isn't it? I do love tie front cutout things. Just ignore the fact that you can see my bra. By the way, guys, I know this is a mess. Always is when I'm trying stuff on. I got a basket bag. This basket bag is back in stock and it's been very, very popular. Is it an Easter basket or is it cute? I don't know, guys. Leave a comment and let me know. Now, if Liz wants to comment on this one, this is too tight. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna have to be surgically removed from this. It's all about the material. Like, this is what I'm trying to say. You could be a size 10. You could go to Topshop and you could literally place an order for five things. I might be a size 14 in a bikini top, a size 8 in some bikini bottoms, a size 6 in some trousers, and a size 10 in the dress. Like, it totally depends what you're buying. This, I judged it wrong, and I need to size up because my intestines and my nip is being pushed. And yeah, this is a bit ridiculous, but I like the jumpsuit. I'm just annoyed because I would have quite liked it for this week. And M's gone and ordered the wrong size. But, I would highly recommend ordering this jumpsuit, just size up. Yeah, I do try to size up in most of my clothes because actually, I don't want to fit, you, you guys if you watch my hauls know that I eat a lot and I bloat a lot, so I like to make extra room for that. But yeah, this is my favourite so far and I'm kind of annoyed that I can't breathe in it. <laughs> but not least, let's get the shoes on. Wow, this looks so much nicer on the model than it looks on me. Guys, this is literally reality when I do a haul. Seriously, this is this is the good life. Everything that's thrown on there. Okay, 
So this is another little jump suit. Lots more room in here, more room for food. Literally, what was that dance? How embarrassing. Um, still like quite flattering though, and like the bum and stuff. Um, but just not my kind of colour, really. I don't know, what do you guys think? This is super, super affordable. No one really saw my vlog last week, so if you didn't see it, you will have missed this dress, which needs an iron, which I actually think is such a stunning dress. So easy to wear, loving the button material. Very, very special. Ah, oh, so you might remember this skirt as well. I actually think it looks better without the matching denim jacket. How lovely is this? Floral, hello, with this little tee. I mean, I don't really like swearing, but just fucking own it, darling. I kind of like that. I kind of like that. Okay, I've got one more thing to show you. And then I am going, because it's been the longest Monday, start the vlog ever. What I wanted to say is that this incredible shirt, which showed you in blue, and they do in white, I'll show you some pictures of me wearing it here because I wear it all the time, has been the best buy of my life. Um, so much so that I bought it in two colours. It's been sold out for ages and it's finally back in stock. So I'll link it below. Right guys, I'm going. It's been the longest Monday vlog ever and I'm cautious that we have a full week ahead. So goodbye. Good morning, my loves. I need to sort my face out. I know. Um, I just woke up. I'm heading to Matt's today because I'm going to drive to London for an exciting day. So I'm going to pack and then in true me style, I've got lots to show you. So I'm going to take you into the office and show you some stuff that's come. But first, pack. So, a few goodies have come. This was good. Um, but it basically came with these products. So, I actually used the Sol de Generia, I think that's how you pronounce it, body cream the other day. And someone messaged me on Instagram and asked if it's good. It smells really good and it felt really good and it sunk into my body. But I think I need to use it more to be able to give you guys a really good answer. Um, these are new glow oils, which sound absolutely incredible for summer. So... I'm very excited about this. I got some chocolates from Pierre Malconi. I've actually been to this store in Brussels, already had a bite of each. They taste very fragrant and kind of fruity, but look how pretty they are. They're like handbag chocolate bars, how dangerous. I don't know if you guys have heard of Paula's Choice or not, but it's basically one of the best skincare brands out there, and I actually haven't used it for a very long time. It's just really scientific and good with like good ingredients and yeah I can't really comment obviously until I've used this new stuff because I've never ever even seen this range of this looks amazing I have never used one of her cleansers so I'm very excited we all love Urban Decay and this is an Urban Decay with Philly and Eat Beauty on the Go kit and you basically it's worth £67 it costs 45 and what do you get inside you get the eyeshadow primer potion get one of their eyeshadows I used to collect these mini eyeshadows and then I just started buying the palettes um, you get the Pervasion Bigger Blacker Badder. Oh, a mascara. I have never used that mascara. You even get the Urban Decay Naked Basics and then the Makeup Setting Spray. You basically get all of the cult products, which is just very exciting. This day is coming up in the UK and I was sent this as like a funny Father's Day gift. Morning Glory Free Normal Person Shampoo. Basically, all the men in my life just use three step. <laughs> Like, oh, this cleanses and conditions. And um, so this is quite funny. Normal person's shampoo. If you watched my recent homeware haul video, you will probably remember me talking about the brand Yope. Um, they're basically really incredibly natural. 93%, 98% natural. This is a shower gel. This is a moisturizing lotion. What's this one? Liquid soap. I think that'd be really nice in my new house one if I ever get it. So I haven't actually used Sienna for quite some time, but you guys know I am big into my tan and I'm gonna use this and let you guys know how I get on because I'm really excited. So this is the Pro Edit. They're an award winning tanning brand and everyone talks about them. So many people say they're amazing. Um, the Pro Edit combines a luxury experience. Sienna X are renowned for with truly natural looking results. And the idea is that these are all quicker, so this is meant to appeal to tanners who want quick results, which is really exciting. So yeah, I don't know which one to try. This is a one hour self tan tinted mousse, one hour self tan tinted mist, one hour self tan tinted lotion, and a gradual self tan. I know that summer's around the corner when the new highlighters come out, so we all know I love Cover FX, and this is limited edition. Oh my goodness, these are meant to be highly pigmented. So I will use these and report back. And then, guys, wait until you see this from Bobby Brown. Like, 
You are not gonna believe it. Look at these blocks. Oh my goodness. If this doesn't scream summer holiday, I don't know what does. I think this one is my favorite. To be honest, I'm probably gonna use this as like everything. I feel like these are meant to be used as, yeah, shimmer brick. I'm definitely using that on my eyes and everything. I was invited to a sleepover with Sanctuary Spa, but I couldn't actually go. But look, how cute that they sent me this. I think that's really lovely. I'm excited to use these. Anyone's been an M Shell follower since day one, you guys will know that I used to swear by Palmer's Natural Bronze Body Lotion. This is a new one with coconut oil, which is going to be interesting. And this is a coconut oil body scrub, in fact. I'm going to use this today. So yeah, it will be interesting to see how these are. Wow, that's my beach bag sorted. <gasps> This is so special, I feel so spoiled. So I think this is all about the new range of simple deodorants, which I'm actually really excited to use. I'm a big fan of using nice antiperspirants. And well, if these are simple and good to the skin, I am happy with that. And it comes with loads of stuff all about how simple it is to be kind, which is just a really special, thoughtful gift. Kindness cards, kindness bracelet, a little candle, that is so lovely. So, this has come from Selfridges. Dun, dun, dun. Selfridges lifts the lid on its new beauty haul in Manchester Trafford on May the 21st. How exciting. So the beauty haul is going to double in size. Last time I actually went, it was under construction. Um, there's going to be 170 brands available. It's going to be the first ever Beverly Hills bricks and mortar space, which is very exciting because I like Anastasia Beverly Hills. So I got this little pouch. I've never heard of this brand, Natasha Denota. Oh, wow. This is such a nice palette. Let's see what's inside. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, that is stunning. That is seriously stunning. So I'm assuming these are all the brands that are inside. You guys know I absolutely love Hourglass. In fact, I wonder if this is one I've already got. Oh, I haven't got these shades. This is their ambient light palette. And whilst I have a lot of their ambient lights, I actually don't think I have these three. So that's very exciting. We love Hourglass. What's in here? Oh, an Hourglass brush. Oh my God, so I'm currently testing this out. This is the Hourglass Veil Primer and so far so good. So that is incredible to have a little top up. Oh wow, does this mean they're gonna have Lime Crime in there? Lime Crime Valentine's. This is their Riot Lip Color. And then last but not least, By Terry. I actually use By Terry all the time and Matt smashed my favorite By Terry serum. So pretty devastated. This is their lip balm, which everyone talks about. And it came with a cute little notepad, M's Beauty Note. So yeah, I'll have to go and pop myself just and see that. Got to London after a very long journey. My camera's about to die. My hair has dropped, which I don't know how this has happened in the last few hours. Sweaty, that's what happened. Just checked into this hotel, so I have paid a lot of money for this hotel. So we're gonna have a very nice date night. We're also gonna capture some content that I'm working on. Let's get changed and comfortable, and then we're gonna do some content. I'm gonna make me a coffee with some pots. Is this an espresso one? I've always had these in my hotel rooms, and I never know how to use them. Oh. Like I now. don't think it's working. No, it's honestly just like <laughs> you have to speed this up. <laughs> Guys, Matt said I have to speed it up. Matt tried to tell me this is green tea. It's not. So this is the this is the mini bar. We're actually really hungry, but I refuse to pay three pounds for crisps. They should give you it for free when the hotel room is so expensive. Uh, we need to get a caramel bar though. That was nice. Caramel wafer. I know, free caramel wafers. Thank you. God, it comes out slowly, doesn't it? Look how slow it comes out. Is it a shot or a coffee? It is a coffee, but you probably should do two to get a full cup. Oh that? my goodness. A third of a cup. Smells good. Smell their coffee. The coffee's brewing. This is the room, which we've messed up. Sorry, I know you can just hear that. Oh, yeah, so we've messed it up. You've got me a coffee? Get some milk, yeah. Some milk, please. This is the bathroom. Yeah, this is me. So I used a sienna tan a few hours ago. I'm testing it. It's good. I like the colour. Um, look how nice this bathroom is. And then this is very relevant. 
Every day, I love you more and more. Well, not every day. Yes, say you're a bit annoying. <laughs> How funny is that? Welcome. I wish this was our home. Literally, imagine if our apartment looked this good. I'd never leave. Coffee ready? I'm actually really hungry. Mm, I don't know. Go. Oh, quite milk here. I, I love milk. Give me all the milk. That was no milk in there. More than that, no? I don't know. Maybe you I'll want try. It, you want to like a latte? I like a latte. Yeah. Stop! That's enough! Stop! Stop! Perfect. Thank you! Guys, how do you use one of these phones? Like, you just, you just put your finger in. You try it then, I don't know how you do it. We're that. trying to order some room service because we're really, really hungry. I literally don't, I think maybe we just try Call Zero. I don't know how to use this phone. I'm gonna call Zero. I don't think that's done as it called zero. Hold the phone up How first. do you know that's called zero? It's not in service apparently. John, call 8888. So, how on earth are these three numbers? We'll, go through, we'll just spin it around three times. Eight. And again. Eight. God, it's like a and again. Eight. Have I done that? I think so. Matt's got an actual menu. Oh, you start as mains, dessert, sides. Oh. Grilled asparagus and truffle pesto. Oh my goodness. I was really excited about my club sandwich, if I'm going to be honest. Bean, smoked anchovy butter. Ew, anchovy. Yes. We've ordered some room service. We have got the music on, guys. I have come on to vlog because, right, I love Meghan Markle. Like, I'm still not over her. Can we just talk about this? Oh my god. Oh, hot dang. Can you see that? <gasps> she looks amazing. It's her first way. It's her, let me get an actual pitch because that's on my Insta stories. Little plug, come follow me on Instagram if you're not already, at mshalex. Right, guys. I got a new phone, by the way. iPhone 7. iPhone 7 knows. <laughs> I just said I got a new phone and it's an iPhone 7. <laughs> I did have an iPhone 7. I got the iPhone X. Ooh. Right, guys. Look. Oh, my God. It's so bright. Oh, yeah, there we go. Oh my god, look at her. Yes, camera, you focus on that goddess. Guys, like, I'm in love. Matt, goodbye. I love Megan. When I grow up, I want to be Megan Markle. Do you love her? Alright. <sighs> She's alright! Oh, guys, can we just. Oh, it's not even working. Oh my god, I actually love her. I think I'm annoying you guys. I love her. Look at her. We're gonna get some. We're gonna wait for this food to come. <laughs> It's bath time! Oh my god, I'm in brown knickers and someone just walked past. Oh my god, look at this! Yes! I'm gonna do some work and then get ready for bed because we actually didn't take any pictures that we needed to take really and I paid so much for this room so we're gonna go to bed and get up early and maybe so excited for breakfast. <sighs> Good night guys! Hey, I've been dreaming about you First, I'm using a terracotta bronzing jelly. This is really nice, but like an all over glow underneath my foundation. Looks scary, it's not. Then, Vici Derma Blend Foundation, you guys know, my holy grail product. With a Huda Beauty foundation brush, give it a good old buff in. Then, Smashbox and their Eye Trio. I love this, use it all the time. I know that this looks really messy, but once I blend enough, it looks better. Bear with me. Then, um, this is the Veil by Hourglass, a really good powder. Nude by Nature for their brow products, loving them, the Lazy Girls Guide to Brows. Smashbox and their new mascara again, overusing this because look how good it makes your eyes look. And then this is just a lip liner from Debenhams, a bit of Jo Malone spray, what's she finding? Oh, this is just a bronzer and a blush from L'Oreal, and then a Topshop lipstick. Morning guys, my throat is absolutely killing me, I feel like I've swallowed a knife. So I'm gonna have a cup of tea. 
and I've just ordered Brevet. So I actually figured out how to use a phone, which is good. So yeah, I've got loads of makeup on because we're actually going to take some pictures in this room that we didn't take yesterday. But I am so excited for breakfast. Also, kind of didn't have a good night's sleep. I hate to moan, but this, every time you move, like, just like makes this noise. Um, I tried to think what people thought we were getting up to in surrounding rooms. No, nope, but just every time I tossed and turned. Okay, so I'm gonna make myself a cup of tea. They don't have my favourite Twinings tea, obviously. But yeah, I'm gonna have a cup of tea and then wait for breakfast to come. It's what you do. So breakfast came, and I think something's gone wrong because they delivered the toast late. But this was £4.50 with 12% service charge for two pieces of bread. I honestly think that is daylight robbery. When last night we paid £4 and got a full thing. Anyway guys, I know someone will comment and say I'm moaning, but out of principle, I'm not paying £4.50 for that. £4.50, that is, I could go to the shop and buy so many loaves. I know that stuff's inflated, but... I've never paid 4 50 for two pieces of toast before. It's not actually two, it's actually one just cut in half. That is shocking, it's one piece of bread. I want you all to know, please go see this is on James Bond. Iconic shots. And continue to follow. Is that a famous building? Yeah, iconic that. This is iconic. It's iconic, guys. It's iconic. Is that's where they blow, they blow it up when they try to kill M. M? Money Penny. Money, Penny, not me. Not you, no. I wish they were trying to kill you. Matt! It's horrible. Hey guys, right. Now Matt's over the excitement of the building. He finally Iconic. saw it. Iconic. We're just in Shoreditch, which is, I'm sorry if this is controversial, but it's my least favourite place in London. Every time I come, something happens. I'm actually really stressed. I haven't talked about it on the vlog because it's a personal thing, but loads of stuff happened yesterday and I'm just feeling like I'm fakely smiling through today, I'm fakely smiling through everything and yeah, it's just not really ideal. Um, so yeah, I'm now heading to an event which I'm sure it will be fun, but you know when you're just like not in the frame of mind and then loads of stuff's happened, so yeah, hopefully it will cheer me up. So yeah, it's in Shoreditch, we're going to the Curtain Hotel now, we checked out the hotel earlier, I've had loads of meetings today, which I didn't film because I didn't want to bore you guys with, so yeah, the event's with James Reed. I've sat with nice people, talked about good things, had a few cocktails and I feel a lot better. Caring is sharing, and problem solved is a problem halved. Oh, that's someone at the door. And wait until you see who it is. It's my bestie. Can you tell? Yeah. <laughs> Good tell by the knock. Hello. Um, so let me give you a quick room tour. Basically, we're here with James Reed. We have the most amazing room ever. I don't know why I'm so shiny. It's just been a long day. So way. This is a bath, guys. This is a dream come true. How amazing. And then, as you guys know, I love James Reed. This is an M. Oh goodness. I promise that's not the cocktails talking. Wait, guys. <laughs> this is a dressing gown. Wait. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, okay. Anyway, that's a dressing gown that says M on it, which I've totally destroyed. Here we go. Wait. Um. Then you've got like a little thing that says, drink me. And then a tan, this, the bed. You've got man tan for Matt, which Matt's excited about, <laughs> for the man in your life. And then we've got this big shower, which is actually a steam room. I'm so excited. And then we've got all of this, stripped back tanning, I'm wearing this top and these trousers. You guys know I absolutely love this outfit. And yeah, so I'm gonna get ready for dinner. I need to sort myself out, I feel like a bit of a mess. Just, you know, when you're like emotionally exhausted. But yeah, I feel good now being with good people. Hi, hi, hi. <laughs> I'm getting Matt some room service. I look like a moon. Is it not working? No, it's just got Look at me, I look like a glowing moon. I have literally got five minutes to get ready because I just 
miss that one of those days. This makeup bag is from Elemis and it's for their new collection with Lily and Lionel and I'm so excited. Look how nice this is. That's Matt on the phone. Guys, I told you I'd never take this off. Just touch my boobs, right? I'm gonna have to make my makeup because I'm having like real issues right now with the state of my face and the time that I have to actually. Hi, can I order some food, please? That's it, I'm just going to get some rare, please. Yeah, can I get some uh, chips and broccoli on the side, please? Well done, Matt! How gorgeous do I look with my hair like this? Sit back down, what you mean? Sit back down, what you mean? Sit back down, let's use an hourglass concealer. This is what I'm like when I've had six Bellinis and 46 nachos. You know, I think I am intolerant to nachos and I'm really sad about this because my stomach has bloated so bad. What do you mean? Sit back down, what do you mean? Sit back down, hum around. Is that or is that not the best song? Mom! Sit back down, what you mean? Go on, sing it. Sit back down, what you mean? Sit back down. Sit back down, what you mean? Sit back down, what you mean? Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. Am I allowed to put it in my vlog? I've embarrassed myself apparently. How have I embarrassed myself? Being a weirdo. Define weird. You know what I really hate put to makeup over makeup? But I always have to do it. Because I never have time to get ready. And then everyone else looks gorgeous and then I'm just there like, oh hey, I've just sweated out my life. I probably already sweated out the Bellinis that I had to be fair, Matt. The Bellinis that I've had. Because yeah, everyone else has had ages to get ready and I'm just like running late as always. Oh my god. Oh, I just drew my eyebrows on so badly. <laughs> Doesn't surprise him at all apparently. Do you want to come curl my hair for me? No. Sit back down, what do you mean? Can I kill your hair? You do not have enough hair to curl. She's so good. What? Oh my god! I honestly thought that this was a Dior mascara and it's actually a volumizing lash primer. Wow. My life's a joke. Can you believe that? This whole time I thought that that was a mascara and it's not. So basically, if you're wondering why Gabby's here, my bestie started working in London. She works for a PR company who are organizing to an event, which is crazy exciting. Oh my God, what's leaked in my bag? Um, because she's really professional and it's like I love seeing my friends be girl bosses and she's like ultimate girl boss and I'm like yes yes and it's nice to see her in her own you know killing it I'm actually tempted to leave my hair like this ready in the quick of time and I'm still late this is what I'm wearing Matt could you show them my jumpsuit please the reason it's selling out is because my girl Meghan Markle wore something similar oh my god I love her I love her more than you this is the jumpsuit because <laughs> that makes you feel really drunk spinning around right have a good dinner we're down to dinner now guys Matt's gonna have a nice dinner in here and then join us after
I'm with James. Reunited. We have this thing. This is cornbread, but it looks like Victoria sponge cake. Morning guys, so I have slept the morning with a tan. I just went to James to get a tan. Let me show you in here. Obviously like, it's already a bit dark, which is nice, a nice little glow. And um, so I'm gonna leave it a little bit longer. We just ordered some breakfast. So we're just sat in here doing some work. Wait for some breakfast to come. Yeah, hey. Oh my goodness. Matt got some eggs with ugh, salmon. Hey. I got some pancakes. This wasn't £4.50. I don't think I told them about the toast scenario and that the woman in the last hotel just like thought it was normal to give someone a slice of bread for £4.50. Well, yeah, guys, that's what happened. I don't think I did. Let's, I know, I love hash browns. Let's eat. I'm ready, and oh my goodness, my hair is a mess. Let me show you today's outfit. Matt, to the honors, please. I'm wearing this shirt which is back in stock and I am so excited about it guys. Um, these trousers work, so you guys know I'm obsessed with, I can't wear my pink ones every day. Although I found a dupe of pink ones which are £15 so I'll link them below. But yeah, if you guys wanted this shirt, go and buy it down below because it's finally back in stock in blue and in white. Right, I'm going now because, let me take a camera. <laughs> I'm going now because this vlog has already been way too long. Thank you James for tanning me. I can't wait for this to come out. Thank you for the nicest evening and the nicest dinner. Love his tans. And yeah, feeling better than yesterday. Right, so we ended up going in the sauna last night when we got in. Not the sauna, the steam room in our room and it was so funny. And I think that's why I don't feel hungover. So yes, thank you guys for being so lovely. Come say hi on Instagram and Twitter at MichelleX. And thank you for watching as always. Love you guys.